I have one of those situations in the Big Ten matchup on Saturday between the Maryland Terrapins, who will be hosting the Michigan State Spartans. Right now, Maryland, according to Caesars, is a eight-point favorite. Before I get to the analysis and the winning free pick on that game, uh, folks, if you would kindly just give me a like as a just a small token of your appreciation for the time, work, and effort I put into bringing you a quality free pick video each and every day and also keeps the folks over at Wager Talk TV happy, which means these videos stay free. And it also helps me out as well with the folks over at Wager Talk TV. So if you can kindly just take a second to do so, folks, I don't ask for much. Just click on that. Uh, like button. Also, click that subscribe button right underneath. Uh, it's absolutely free to do so, and you'll be subscribed to the best YouTube sports betting channel on the internet today. That's Wager Talk TV, uh, amongst not only myself, but uh, very uh, lucky to be amongst some of the greatest sports betting experts in all the world here on Wager Talk TV. And while you're at it, Go into your YouTube settings and click on the alert notification bell for Wager Talk TV, and you'll be alerted upon any of our podcasts, free pick videos such as these, or instructional videos going up on our channel. So hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. All right, let's get to the matter at hand. Michigan State at Maryland. Um, right now, as I, as we speak, Maryland's an eight-point favorite. Uh, the opening kickoff is slated for 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time in College Park, Maryland. Michigan State's coming off a very lackluster 16-10 home win in their season opener, and they failed the cover as a 13-point home favorite. I mentioned keeping track of head coaches in college football, head coaching changes to be specific, and especially early on. And Jonathan Smith takes over as the head coach at Michigan State He's got a bit of an uphill climb as the Spartans are coming off back-to-back -back losing seasons. I do think Jonathan Smith was a great hire for the Spartans, but I do think they're going to go through some early growing pains, and it's going to take time to adapt. And that was evident uh, against Florida Atlantic last week in a game Michigan State, uh, for all the resources, should not uh, be involved in a close game against teams like Florida Atlantic, yet they were. Uh, also, uh, keep in mind, um, Michigan State last year were lambasted at home against Maryland, 31-9. to uh, Now they go on the road. Yes, you can make a case for revenge, but I don't think that's going to be as much a factor as it normally would be uh, because of you know the new coach. Uh, there are a lot of personnel changes. So, again, I don't think that will take effect whatsoever. Uh, the Spartans offensively, they struggled last week against Florida Atlantic. I think they're going to struggle for the better part of the season offensively. And uh, I th and at least early on, that will be the case. And that was evident, too, in their season hoper against Florida Atlantic. They're going to have to lean on their defense to get it done. But I think their defense will find their defense being worn down as they move up in class. Uh, from being on the field too long and, and the offense's inability to sustain drives. Now, Maryland is coming off an impressive 50-7 to blowout home win over UConn in a game they easily covered as an 18-and-a-half point favorite. This is a, a Maryland team that's looking for their fourth consecutive winning season under former New Mexico head coach Mike Loxley. Uh, so, again, we got one team coming off back-to-back -back losing seasons, another team uh, going for their fourth straight uh, winning season in a row, one team with a brand-new head coach, one team who's had a head coach that's been there for a while. So all things that take into consideration amongst the other things I already mentioned. I do have a great college football betting angle on this game. It's not a big sample size, but very strong. Since the start of the 2017 season, anytime you have a game two college football home favorite of 15 and a half or less that's coming off a home favorite ATS cover, uh, and they've won 26 or fewer of their last 28 at home, those game two home favorites have gone 9 and 0 straight up in ATS since 2017, winning by an average of plus. 
18.1 points per game. And uh, the average line in those nine contests, the favorite average was minus 7.7. This current line right now at Caesars 8. So just about the same identical line on average as we're seeing in this particular matchup. Also, folks, uh, college football, my premium picks in college football since last year on runs of 12 and 6 and 64 and 45. That 64 and 45 run dates all the way back to September 9th of last year. That's a 59% run. And over that course of time, I've made $3,700 from my clients. Major League Baseball on runs of six and three and nine and five. Also, Major League Baseball up around $2,200 since August 4th of last year. Keep an eye also on my football totals as they've been 64% since last year. And as well as my best bets, my 5% best bets, folks, are uh, 24 and 10, uh, which is good for 71% and good for a net profit of $6,500 since February 4th of this year. I will be back in a little while with another college football free pick, so stay tuned for that. Until then, take care and God bless, folks.